Hey guys, assalamu alaikum. Hello, hi, and welcome to Cooking is Fun with Firdaus. And two days ago, it was my little son birthday and he insisted on a space shuttle he wanted a rocket cake which lift off position so which means it's a gravity cake which he's asking for me uh, to make so i thought i should uh, then give it a try and make him happy but he was super excited to see this cake so i'm going to share the tutorial on how i made this cake so let me just show you to start off i bought a nice thick cake board and to this i have to attach two cylindrical stray forms to act as a booster to my cake so these two will be the boosters to my uh, lift off cake and on top of this i attached another uh, circle shape uh, uh, stray foam to ensure that my cake is of the same circle size the size of this was around six inches so this was uh, exactly that same uh, uh, shape so i just fixed it using the glue which was very uh, easy for me to do it and then once it was dry i i inserted two skewers in the two boosters to make it more stiff okay let me just show you this is the space shuttle which my son has given to me and he has requested me to make something similar to this so i'm going to try to do it so let's get started first i'm going to roll out the fondant i have add little bit of tylos to it so i can make a stiff wings um, i don't have a gum paste right now so i'm just using a fondant with the, some tylos to make a gum paste kind of a thing and uh, roll it out in the form of a wing here i have a wing template with the paper i made it myself and i'm just going to cut out the wings and tail and everything so and this wings and tails i'll be giving a a, um, a black uh, layer also below it now i rolled out the black fondant uh, for my boosters as well so cutting it into a rectangle shape long rectangle shape to cover up the boosters on the top part to look as if they are the boosters for the cake so i use the black fondant and to these boosters we will be attaching the uh, you know uh, the fire flares so to make the fire flares normally will be you should use uh, yellow and orange but since it's locked down i couldn't find and i don't have colors left with me the yellow color so i just thought i'll make the red ones itself so i'm using a leaf cutter and rolling out this fondant uh, i just cut it the leaf uh, shapes and then i slitted uh, the broader edge of the leaf shapes and then uh, using a ball tool these tools are easily available in any uh, baking stores you can find it uh, they are usually used for making any kind of figurines flowers and all in the uh, uh caking decoration type part so uh using the ball tool i smooth out the edges and thin thin in fact they make uh, they help us to roll out thin uh run thin edges you know to have thin edges especially so thin the edges and then once this is done your fire flares are ready and this has to be attached to the boosters so using a uh, edible glue i'm attaching it to the boosters and i'm just covering up uh, to look as if they are flaring out of the boosters so once you see they are ready and this needs to dry as well let's work on the next the wings i am using a paint to paint uh, in one wing i'm painting nasa and in another wing i'm going to paint the usa flag because that flight that space shuttle has it so moving on then next i'm just going to roll out and this is a cone shaped stray foam which i bought uh, and i'm just going to cover that up as well with the fondant to make the cockpit so half of the fondant is uh, black and half is white so that's what i'm trying to do and i'm giving windows with a cockpit view and the cockpit is ready <laughs> Okay, now working on the cake, I made like around 12 layers of cake and each cake is smaller than the other. It's like that to make it in the shape of a rocket. Uh, and um, once this is done, I will be working on the buttercream. Uh, I'm going to make a nice galaxy flavor buttercream. So I use galaxy cocoa powder mixed with Hershey's. It gives a beautiful flavor to your cake. And once my buttercream is ready, I'm going to start with the layering of my cake. So as you can see, the buttercream is getting ready. It's nice and smooth and let's get started. Now for layering, what I did was I inserted a skewer, a, a long skewer in the middle of the uh, stray foam because I want my cake to be stable when I am doing the um, uh, 
uh, stacking part i don't want them to wobble so stacking has to be really very stiff so that's the reason why i did that and i just placed a uh, wax paper because i don't want to spoil the entire stray foam it might drop here and there so let's start with the layering cake with uh, i'm just uh, applying a little bit of uh, sugar syrup over the cake and then the buttercream and then start with the stacking so there you can see how i'm stacking it so you can also do the same way once i stack it i felt it's a little wobbly so i'm just going to insert two thin skewers on two sides of the cake to make it more uh, stable and then i'm just going to coat my cake well enough and refrigerate this minimum for two to three hours before i start rolling in the fondant after two to three hours i'll roll the fondant and this fondant will cover the cake uh, half of like more than half of the cake is white because the structure of the space shuttle is half of the structure is white and the rest of the half is black so that's what I'm trying to do so it will be like 2.5% uh, of the cake is covered with white and then the rest is covered with black smooth out the edges once you roll out and uh, once you apply it to the cake smooth out the edges well and um, be very soft and be very gentle because this is very delicate to hold as well right now and then i'm just going to cut out roll out the black fondant and apply the black fondant on the other side of the cake so there you go the cockpit is going to fit into the cake and the uh, the once the fire flares you see lots of uh, fog the smoke coming out so that's to give a smoky effect he said everything has to be edible so i decided i'll use some marshmallows so that's what i'm doing and these are the uh, you know uh, i just uh, cut off some words and uh, the blast off nubed turn six that's what i did i fixed the wings using in uh, toothpick and some nice glue and i fixed it but still i wanted to give a little bit of steadiness to it so i just kept two skewers behind it and there you go the blast off cake is ready for him this is how i made i hope you all would have got an idea by this video so you can also try to make it in case if you want to give a surprise to your loved ones who love space shuttles or rockets so you'll get an idea to do this that's the reason why i shared it so i hope you'll all give it a like and please share. thank you for watching stay tuned there's still lots more to come with cooking is fun with firdas lots of recipes are lined up so please stay tuned with me till then take care allah hafiz Stay home, stay safe.